What is the great reveal and why can't it be stopped? Who are the cedars and how are they connected with the giant space arcs which have been found in Ukraine, Russia, Brazil, the US and around the globe? Why are these ancient arcs activating now and what is their purpose? This story begins far back in humanity's past. Writings from ancient Sumer tell of Utnapishtim surviving an ancient flood through an ark carrying humans, animals and plant seeds for the renewal of life. An almost identical story appears in the Hebrew Bible where Noah was commanded by God to build an ark carrying two animals of every kind, plant seeds and his immediate family to restart civilization. Similar stories of a great flood and arcs being used to restart life appear in almost all ancient cultures. But were these arcs simple wooden constructions built by humans in primitive times or advanced technological craft linked to the Elohim, the mysterious creators of life? An expert remote viewing team recently targeted Noah's Ark and found it to be an advanced metallic submersible spaceship. The idea of space arcs saving humans in times of planetary disaster are not limited to Earth. In 1984, the CIA sponsored a remote viewing exercise with Joe McMonagall and other RV veterans to discover what happened during a planetary disaster on Mars sometime during the last million years. The remote viewing team found that the Martian survivors left on massive metallic space arcs that landed on Earth, thereby starting a new civilization amongst the primitive indigenous human population. Did the Elohim provide the space arcs which evacuated the Martian survivors, just as they had done on Earth in the time of ancient Sumer and with Noah? And whatever happened to these immense arcs? Are they still on Earth and buried in remote locations? In 1974, world-renowned paranormal researcher Andrea Puharic led channeling sessions in a Faraday cage in Ossining, New York, involving a mysterious Council of Nine. Many VIPs attended the Council of Nine channeling sessions and asked questions, including Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek. The VIPs were told that 24 extraterrestrial civilizations were responsible for seeding human life on Earth. Atlantis, the ancient Hebrews, and many different cultures were influenced by one or more of these cedar races. The cedars, or Elohim, possessed the genetics of human, animal and plant life that was constantly being modified and seeded throughout our galaxy and beyond. The cedars were helped in their galactic seeding experiments by other extraterrestrial races, but also opposed by powerful off-world groups. The extraterrestrial races that opposed the cedars included reptilian and grey aliens and those affiliated with a formidable spiritual entity called Lucifer. Lucifer is worshipped by powerful elite human groups who are dedicated to suppressing and hiding advanced knowledge and technologies that can help humanity evolve. In the Council of Nine channeling sessions, Roddenberry and others were told that the Cedars could return as early as the mid-1970s. All that was required for the return of the Cedars was that humanity would be ready to welcome them rather than oppose them out of fear and ignorance. However, global elites and their ET allies have long been manipulating public opinion through the mass media to perceive extraterrestrials at large as a threat. Gene Roddenberry's prime directive comes from the Galactic Federation of Worlds, a group working closely with the Cedars. The Cedars will not directly interfere in human affairs or with our free will. Yet to ensure that the end of this current 12,000 year cycle does not again result in the catastrophic demise of humanity, 
a plan was implemented. Waves of evolved extraterrestrial beings volunteered to incarnate into human bodies on Earth to guide from within. According to the highly respected Andromeda contactee Alex Collier, 200 million of these volunteer starseeds are currently on Earth. Although only 2.5% of the Earth's total population, the seeders have calculated that this number is sufficient to bring about a desired positive outcome. Today, the Cedars have returned to our solar system in large fleets of spacecraft and are preparing to reveal themselves. Find out how the Cedars have triggered the activation of ancient space arcs hidden throughout our solar system and on Earth. Where the space arcs have been found on Earth. The latest updates about the US-Russia struggle over the Ukraine space arc. How the mysterious heat increase in Antarctica is linked to the activation of the space arcs and arrival of the cedars. The connection between the mysterious Bujedji mountain discovery in Romania and the cedars. The final conflict between an Earth alliance working with the cedars to prepare humanity for open contact and the Luciferian consortium of global elites and their alien allies desperate to stop it. How humanity will escape the cycle of destruction and graduate into a galactic golden age. Join Dr. Michael Sala, the world's leading expert on exopolitics, for this exciting all-new webinar intensive coming on April 9th, entitled E.T. Cedars, Space Arcs, and the Great Reveal. Don't wait. Register today.